Nine on your side starts now. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. First at five, guilty on all charges. Yeah, Thomas Stidham now convicted in the death of tri-state runner Kathy Chatfield, hit during a race nearly two years ago. Nine on your sides, Brianna Harper followed this trial all last week. She spoke with both the defendants and the victim's families about the outcome. It's been 17 months since that deadly crash happened on Dorchester Avenue, claiming the life of runner Kathy Chatfield. But today her family says after all that time, they finally have a sense of closure. Thomas Stidham stood before a judge and a jury today as he heard his fate read aloud. Guilty of vehicular homicide. Guilty of four different counts. Aggravated vehicular homicide, vehicular homicide, failure to stop, and tampering with evidence. A verdict family and friends of Kathy Chatfield say has been a long time coming. The justice system really does work if you are able to let it work the way it's supposed to. Since the crash in December 2015, the tri-state running community gathered around the Chatfield family offering any support possible. It's a big relief that at this point he can't hurt anyone else. That's the best we can ask for. But on the other side, Stidham's mother says she still believes in her son's innocence and will continue to stand by him 100 percent. It was an accident. It truly was an accident if it did happen, but he said it didn't happen, and I do believe him. She, like Chatfield's family, has been in court nearly every day of the trial. And despite hearing some of the witness testimony and ultimately the verdict, Stidham's mother says that's no fair judgment of her son's character. He had some problems, you know, back in the day, but his name don't have to be that he's an awful person. He is not an awful person. And as for the Chatfields, they say there'll be plenty of more missed holidays and heartbreak to come. But today marks the first step toward healing. It's really hard because we miss her. We really miss her. Kathy was a beautiful person, big, big part of all our lives. Sidham's mother says she plans on talking to her son's attorney about possibly appealing today's verdict. Sidham is set to return to court on June 7th for his sentencing. Brianna Harper reporting at 9 on your side.